This morning, as the death toll in the U.S. continues to soar well past 400,000, the sluggish vaccine rollout still plaguing the nation. Several states concerned about supply, as officials in New York say they've already run out. We will, by the end of today, fully utilize all of the dosages that have been delivered. Growing frustration at the Trump administration's handling of vaccine distribution as Dr. Fauci takes aim himself. And I had to be directly contradicting not only the president, but some of the people around the president who were saying things that just were not consistent with the science. Just days into the job, President Biden doubling down on his pledge of 100 million vaccinations in his first 100 days and promising swift action and transparency along the way. Our national strategy puts on uh, us on a war footing to aggressively speed up our COVID-19 response, especially on vaccines and testing. But right now, it's still a supply and demand issue, forcing some states to cancel or postpone appointments. Long lines and confusion fueling outrage. We spent hours, two or three hours at a time, um, and often with no luck. In Florida, the shortage prompting officials to restrict the vaccine to residents only. This as Great Britain issued a dire warning about the highly contagious UK variant. There is some evidence that the new variant may be associated with a higher degree of mortality. A race against time to vaccinate Americans. As the CDC warns, that strain could be dominant here in the U.S. by March. The FDA just approved Pfizer's request to send fewer vials to the U.S. The company committed to 200 million doses by the end of July, but after pharmacists discovered last month it's possible to squeeze an extra dose out of each vial, Pfizer argued that should count towards the amount they send. Kristen, Peter? Megan Fitzgerald in Los Angeles, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.